with forward Dmitry Osipov as we recap the 21-22 season for your Rockford Ice Dogs and Energy Interview Day. Dmitry, it was a big year for you, converting from defense to forward. That was the biggest takeaway at the start of the season. As the year progressed, it seemed like you got more and more comfortable in that role. Now looking back at the year, how do you assess? What, are, what were some of the highlights for you? Um, the, I mean, the whole year is a one big of a highlight for me, switching from D to forward, you know, as you, like when you're 25 years old, it's not, not the easiest thing to do, and, and it's not really a common thing that you would see in the hockey world. So I would say the whole thing, it was just a big learning curve for me. It was a lot of, I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of learning. There's a lot of mistakes that I made. There's a lot of, like, frustrations that I had, obviously. But uh, overall, I feel like it, it's, it was one of the best seasons that I have, and then, Learning how to play forward, that was it's a really, I made a truly amazing skill that I'm gonna use going on like going forward from now. So it's I just hope it's gonna help me in the future. How do you feel like as a person you embraced that challenge, embraced that change for you, especially in a season where a lot of guys were coming in from different areas, different backgrounds. Last season, a shortened year, but still a little bit of experience. But I feel like after the second half of the year, the holiday break to the end, it was a lot of hockey in a short amount of time, and you had to be ready to go at all hours of the night. It felt like. How did you embrace all that? Honestly, like it's it's kind of hard to say, but it was just like it's kind of like keen natural. I would say it was just like you know you just have to you just have to do it. There's no other way around it. Like there's no other way around it. And it's just put your hand down and do what you're supposed to do, kind of thing. It's like we <laughs> like we can't change anything at that point of time. So it was like we saw the schedule, we saw how many games we have ahead of us, and it was just like we just got to do it. Where do you feel like your game progressed the most in terms of your development and, and taking those steps forward? Because again, from the beginning of the season to where you were in, in the postseason in the, in the last month and a half of the season, it, it looked like a more calm, more confident. Dmitry Osipov with the puck on his stick. Everywhere. Like that's, that's, the, that's the thing. It's just like starting from like probably the skating, the, the, the stick handling, the overall positioning. There's like, you name it. Everything, like just like everything. I worked, I try to work and everything. And then that's, Ultimately, what was I was kind of supposed to do to kind of like be decent and forward, so I feel like it just got like a little bit of everything, sort of thing. So I can't really pinpoint like exact areas which, in like where I improved the most, um, but I would say like it's just a combination of those like small things that kind of got me to uh, where I am right now. Now moving into the off season, is it more 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 of the same challenges that are ahead of you? Just getting more and more competition, more repetitions in those roles, or or what's what's the focus now going into the summer? Uh, it's kind of the same same approach as I had last year. It's just keep learning. Like it's you know it's never uh, you're never going to be perfect. It's always there's always room to learn. So at this point, just learn as much as I can and then see what's you know what's the uh, next season holds for me. And with that too, what does next season hold? What does the summer hold? Hopefully a little vacation time for you. Maybe a chance to unwind. First full summer that the professional hockey world has really seen in the last couple of years. So hopefully a little bit of downtime up upcoming. Yeah, definitely. A few weeks, not you know, not too long, not too crazy, but definitely a little bit of just a downtime, relax, get the body, you know, kind of calm down a little bit, and enjoy ourselves, and like just keep in touch with the family, and then enjoy some time with the friends, and then back to work.